Okay, just came back from my walk around the neighborhood. Couldn't walk too far because it's really cold and windy today. Um, let's see how far I walked. I walked two thirds of a mile. I heard Mrs. Lucia was going for a run today. Finally, I made it. Took a long time. Ran three fourths of a mile while dodging a bunch of people and social distancing into the bushes. <sighs> three fourths of a mile. I know Miss Portenstein went for a walk today too. I wonder who, who went, went further. Pause the video and take a second to think about some strategies you might use to figure out who ran further. One way to compare these fractions is to use fraction strips, but sometimes you don't have any handy. Did you know that you can also use number lines to compare fractions? Pause the video again and think about some ways you could use number lines to compare fractions. Okay, since I'm comparing two fractions, the first thing I'm going to do is draw two number lines, one for each fraction. But wait! There's something really important we need to make sure that we do here. We have to make sure that both number lines are exactly the same length. Why, you might ask? Well, because if they aren't the same length, then we won't get an accurate comparison of who ran further. They both ran a portion of a mile, so we need to make sure that the mile looks the same for both of them. If it doesn't, well, it would be like comparing apples and oranges, and that never works out well. So, I'm gonna do my best to draw two equal number lines. Since we are dealing with one whole mile, I will label the ends of each number line 0 and 1. We'll use the top line to show 2 thirds. So I'll break that line into three equal pieces and label them 1 third, 2 thirds, and 3 thirds, which is equal to one whole. I'll use the next line to show 3 fourths. So I'll break this line into four equal pieces and label each piece one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, and four-fourths, which is equal to one whole, again. Now, all I have to do is plot each fraction on its number line and see how they compare. It looks like three-fourths is closer to one whole, so that means three-fourths is greater than two-thirds. We can see that Mrs. Lucia went further. <laughs> That's how you can use number lines to compare fractions. But remember, if you don't make sure your lines are the same length, your comparison won't be accurate. 